Hey folks, back again. It's your boy BQ here. I've been receiving a lot of messages, a lot of DMs, PMs, whatever you want to call it, because people have been asking me to uh, speak on the Scott Nemore, Don Collis situation um, as they've been hired as executive vice presidents with Impact Wrestling. And it wasn't that it wasn't something I wanted to jump on right away, uh, really just more because uh, of personal schedule and everything. And I was aware of the information as it came out. Um, just like most people were, but you know, just just between um, home life, uh, work, and everything, it just I just couldn't get anything out. So I'm kind of up early right now before work, recording this so I can um, knock something out. I also wasn't even sure what to say on it all. Um, outside looking in, looks great. We want to have good personnel decisions, and the company really needs to have um, competent people in place. Uh, behind the scenes and then people who are well respected in the wrestling industry so you know with Jeff Jarrett I like Jeff Jarrett I think he had a lot of great ideas um, but you know a lot of people don't like Jeff Jarrett and you know Impact Wrestling needs to start having people in good places that are well liked well respected you know much much like Ring of Honor does you know Ring of Honor doesn't have a lot of people in place where you know they, they have a you know shit on their name uh, throughout the wrestling industry so this looks like, you know, outside um, outside looking in, uh, looks like a good deal. And uh, what, what I want to see, of course, is better promotion, better marketing. And um, we, we see the behind the scenes moves, which are great. But what what is going to bring uh, the viewers back? And, you know, he you know, Don has a connection with New Japan, uh, works over there, and he's going to maintain that relationship. So I think this is a, a good thing as far as that goes. I don't think anyone would disagree with that. Because there's been the rumors that they want to, you know, start working with New Japan. And how crazy, how bananas would that be if they were, you know, there was a working relationship going on with Ring of Honor, New Japan, NOAA, you know. And that that's uh, not even talking about Crash and uh, AAA at this point. But, uh, you know, say working with those companies right now. That would be a pretty big deal. Um, they got to find the right balance, of course, because one of the knocks on Ring of Honor has always been, you know, that it was... New Japan USA or whatever the hell they called it you know the New Japan guys went over a lot and it's usually quite the opposite with impact you know when they bring people in from other companies they don't typically go over and they need to start doing a better job with that but they got to find a really good balance no is a great company and has a lot of um, wonderful talent but New Japan you know is the big dog over there and New Japan is, you know, frankly, what I think has kept uh, Ring of was saved Ring of Honor's butt creatively quite a bit. So, you know, he's um, John Goldberg is uh, supposedly out the door in 2018, and uh, the creative team is uh, Sanjay still going to be involved, but there's going to be Abyss, Gail Kim, Jeremy Borash, Jimmy Jacobs, and then uh, Scott and Don as well. Um, and I guess Ed Norholm's a part of that committee uh, when it's all said and done. So that's something. Um, you know, hopefully, again, competent people in place will um, will step in to where um, Ed Norholm isn't making dumb decisions and everything. So it seems like they're really trying to distance distance themselves from bad business. And um, it, this is this is going to be interesting to see really how it unfolds. Apparently, Dutch Mantel is out. He kind of came in as a, um, a Jarrett guy. So uh, that's that's that kind of sucks. I think he was a good wrestling mind and good to have aboard. But um, right now we've got these vice presidents. Uh, they're forming a three-member executive com um, committee. So they'll be reporting to Ed Nordholm. And we're just going to have to see what progresses forward with the talks with New Japan and everything. Both of these guys are going to be on Talk is Jericho. I'm going to imagine tomorrow. I think he does episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Um and there's supposed to be a big announcement. There's been they're, they're, they're teasing that Jericho could have some involvement in this, and I'm kind of hoping he pulls a Cody Rhodes, you know. Um, so he's got the match with Kenny Omega. Uh, there's not a lot of dream matches he could really do with the stars on Impact right now. If we're just being honest with ourselves, but I could see some money in uh, them building up some something with Jericho and Eli Drake. But I don't want to speculate too much because I don't know um, what the involvement will be. But um, it's going to be interesting. So that's one of the big takeaways. Uh, talk is Jericho. We definitely want to, you know, that'll come out tomorrow. So we'll hear it. Obviously, the dirt sheets and the um, wrestling media will 
report whatever is said earlier, but it's supposed to have a very big announcement. So um, please, in your comments, leave. Uh, th this is, I don't know, there's just like so much in my mind um, regarding this and everything. And that's, again, what, one of the reasons I didn't want to do a video almost, even though it was one of the most important and positive things that have happened with the company lately, is just that it's hard to know what this means, hard to speculate what it means, but we can speculate good things could happen. And if they can get good working relationships with um, Ring of Honor, if he can, if Don can be that guy um, with Ring of Honor and New Japan to mend the relationships, then really good things can happen. Because right now that's the only way to thrive and to grow is and, and to build your own niche is for all these wrestling companies to work together because wwe is trying to destroy these companies whether you guys want to believe that or not or maybe not destroy them but they you know they are the clear-cut number one but they want to remain that clear-cut number one you know it's it's not like the the patriots are out there trying to you know just destroy the raiders so that the raiders aren't in, in existence i mean this is a totally different kind of sport and um, Vince wants there to be one company in the eyes of people and in, in the eyes of most people, there is only one company. So companies really need to come together and build something really special because you can create a lot of dream matches with, um, if you're, you're talking uh, Noah, New Japan, Ring of Honor, Impact, uh, even throw AAA and Crash in there. Um, hell, throw Border City Wrestling in there if you want. But building these um, this community you can actually mix, miss and match. Don't get it far away from the Impact product or, you know, but you can mix and match and really put together some dream matches that WWE can't do right now. That's why they're kind of taking talent from other companies is because, you know, they put out so much content. It's the same matches over and over and over. There's really very few matches they can do. You know, they just try to sell you on, a, you know, Triple H wrestling and whoever he wrestles is a dream match. Like, hell no. I have no interest in that. So... Let's see what happens going forward. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Peace.